Um, okay. Uh, one clarification: the library is not out yet. Okay, so don't go and search on npm packages or anywhere. Okay. Uh, so uh, basically, the live streaming. Um, okay, when I ask you live streaming, what's the first thing that comes to your head? Thank you. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Okay. I knew it. Okay. But they all are one-way live streaming, right? No one is doing, or they are doing two-way live streaming, and the reason they are not like keeping it open for millions of people is because when they do traveling of two ways, it's kind of, it's too much of data transfer, and it kind of like screws, screws up your server, all right? So the reason I started with Angular live streaming platform is first reason is that I couldn't find one package that was solving this issue. The second was that uh, Angular frameworks such as like who are going towards TypeScript and all structured languages, uh, they do, don't really have packages for such tools. So the problems, uh, the reason I live streaming is because of that. There's no enough, enough channels or there's no enough open APIs for live streaming. Uh, there is one for appear.in, but they have screwed up this CQ. Yeah, so don't use it if you're going to use it. Okay, uh, so... Uh, what I planned, uh, started with researching was this WebRTC is an open source project supported by Google and Microsoft. Uh, so they basically provide uh, web real-time communications and that's what I've been using for my project. Uh, they basically, the reason WebRTC is used for, is because the, is usually used because it's faster uh, for video conferencing <coughs> compared to data transfer. So for example, your WhatsApp uses socket which is different technology than WebRTC, okay? I can see some faces are very blank, so I will explain that in detail when we actually do the demo, okay? So this is how your actually your WhatsApp or any, anything which is real time works. So basically this is me and suppose this is my friend or any one of you over here, and there are two ways you're communicating. This is where you send your message to a relay servers, which is just like normal textual messages. But the main message is actually sent to a, the signaling server, for example, audio, video, or any type of things that you want to do to the, to the peer server. All right? So anything like I send message to her, then this, it will send a signaling uh, knowledge to the peer, to her, and say there's a new message for you. All right? There are two ways to do this. It's to either do a knock-knock method, which is called as socket, or you do a polling. means that every one second you go and check the server, is there any new message for me? All right, so as the guy, uh, as a person before me mentioned about the data thing, okay, I'm not really sure how well it relates, but when you do one second refresh every time, your server will crash sooner or later. But when you do with socket, it basically maintains, it also uh, saves your data comparatively, yes. Okay, so that's more or less. Uh, okay, so the Angular live streaming library that I'm planning to build will more or less try to solve these three issues. The last one, I guess, pretty sure you guys will see it sooner because Zellora Wi-Fi doesn't support it. So, uh, second one is turn and turn servers. This is the most expensive servers and currently I'm using Google servers because they provide some free. But if you want to create your own, you have to like have one computer lying on your desktop 24-7 and I don't know what all you have to do with the networking over there. All right, and the last one is for the upcoming new frameworks. I want to create a library. Uh, okay, so hey, what happened? Huh? Okay, let's do a demo. Uh, okay, so everyone just go to this link. If yeah, but don't use Zelora web Wi-Fi. Yeah, please uh, use your 4G. Don't worry, there's no not much of data usage. I can assure you that. So just go to this website and ensure you are once you land on the website, you are on HTTPS. Yeah. To take notes. Publish. Oh, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Technical error. Does it work on all 
No, only on Chrome. Okay. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> yes. Chrome or Internet Explorer? Yeah. Not on Safari, for sure. Yeah. Hey, yes. I see you. So wait, what we could get, get started? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Uh, go on to Hack and Tell and then wait for something to happen. Uh, when you go on, uh, click on Hack and Tell, you will see join the conference button. Set up new conference or? Uh, no, no, there is join. Yeah, don't set up. I'm doing the setup. So we've got like four buttons. Oh, there are four? So I guess like a few who set up created their own conferences. Okay, hopefully this it works. Okay, uh, if it's not coming, just refresh. There's like two people on it right now. Oh, two? Yeah, I see myself. It takes a while, it takes a while. Okay, I guess it's working on her. Okay, it's working on her. I'm not sure which server has it joined. Okay, let me see which one. Just join anyone, I guess you should still connect you to the one because both of them are holding on to the same thing. Right. Is it working or should I clear the server? There is no join button. Okay. Are you on a... It takes a, after you join, it takes a while. Oh, right. yeah. But yeah, you're going to see the join button. Yeah. Okay. Anybody able to see the see my you, face? Do you have a server on this? Yes. How much data it doesn't use? It doesn't use much. It's, it should be in KBs. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not doing like that huge kind of stuff. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, I guess. Are, how many are there? Uh, I think um, you look at Okay, anyway, yeah, it's kind of, this is how it looks. It doesn't work online. Yeah. So, yeah. So, basically, that's how it is, but the reason for problems with this is, yeah, the problem with this is that if any of you, whoever is connected with this server, has internet connection, it will break. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. So I'm still figuring it out, that one. Yeah, so that was the one hack that I was trying to figure it out yesterday night, but it didn't work. Yeah, so for some reason that one person loses the connectivity, everyone website crashes. I don't know why. Yeah, so that's how it is. So if I close it now, like... No, if you close it, there's an issue. If you, the only the connectivity goes wrong, then it's an issue. So if someone has to like turn up your mobile data, well, I can see inside. No, 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 no. Only the kind of, like, like, there's a fluctuation in connectivity, right? That's where it goes wrong, not when you cut it off. Yeah. Cut it off means you're ending the session, which is okay. Yeah. No, no, no. What if I'm like on this and I can turn off my mobile data? That's okay. And then That's okay. Then only like, else, like, means only your yeah. Wi-Fi will. Only your, only the, your connection will go like this. Mm -hmm. It will go blank. Yeah. This is a, something, yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. But yeah, that's all about my presentation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of questions going on here. Yeah. Any questions? Yes, sir. So, uh, have you uh, investigated some of the media servers out there, like Forza, Red Spike, or other sort of servers that provide media? Uh, Not really. I haven't yet. Any more questions? Yes, sir. Oh, code. Uh. Okay, it's on GitHub actually. You can. Uh, actually, the main server code is not up yet. But wait, hold on. Let me see if I can find it up. Any other questions? Yes. So, for um, the sessions um, of each individual person joining or leaving, uh, you do still need a central server for that, right? The video conferencing is still uh, your server, right? Yeah, correct. So there's one server that is sitting be between the signaling server and the client. What's that? What is the problem? Sorry? What handles the session? What handles the session? Is it a Node.js or is it? Oh, it's, a no oh, it's on Node.js, yeah.
Okay, so this leg. Wait, can't see. Where's it not happening? Okay, uh, I will post the code on the GitHub. So you can just go github.com slash shasmith. Yeah. I'll have all the code over there. All right, thank you. Thank you.